So you're doing everything that you can to help the environment. You're using bamboo toothbrushes, you're not using plastic, you're taking the bus to work instead of driving. But you're missing one big thing. Animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change and it's just not spoken about enough. So today we're going to be taking you through some of the easiest swaps that you can make to have a more sustainable diet and an eco-friendly lifestyle. We're going to be starting with dairy. dairy. Let's talk about milks. Soy milk is really high in protein, oat milk has a really full taste, almond milk tastes a little bit nutty and watery. Yeah, I'm not a big almond milk guy. And the pea protein milk is my top one. It bang, it's really good and it tastes like full cream milk. Now we use Milkology that has 50% more calcium than cow's milk. Vegan cheese exists. There are a lot of options out there. We like the Federal City Mature Cheddar. I like that squeezy cheese, even though I didn't think I would like squeezy cheese. I actually do quite uh, like squeezy cheese. It's like the squeezy cheese idea is a little bit grim, but it tastes like real cheese and yeah. it's gooey like real cheese. So no complaints for me. Oh, There's... vegan feta cheese is pretty good as well. And they have Red Leicester one. They do a vegan cheese board. There's a lot of vegan cheese brands. Essentially, that's what we're saying. Try them all. Just have a look in your local shop. Butter. I pretty much use vegan butter all the time now. There's Violife What's butter. What's that big one? I can't believe it's not butter. Violife also does these spreads. So it's not just margarine, it's actual spread. It's yeah. supposed to taste like butter. What's this? Okay, I like it, Picasso. Is this like cheese spread? And I can't believe it's not butter. So there's a lot of options out there for you. Yogurt. If you have like a lot of tzatziki, 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 and the Turkish version, which is called tzatziki, tzatziki, then just have some vegan yogurt instead. It tastes the same, but you're saving cows in there. There's a lot of vegan yogurts out there. There's coconut based ones that you can use in curries, Greek style yogurts, soy yogurt, oats, which are a bit thicker. Five seconds to guess in the comments what the final dairy product is. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough time? There's tons of vegan ice cream, obviously. Stunning. My dad only needs vegan ice cream. Regular ice cream makes his stomach hurt. Ben and Jerry's vegan ice cream is really, really good. Magnum is vegan. Magnum. And now I think every single shop basically has their own brand of vegan ice cream. Just pick that one up instead. They cost the same, they look the same, they taste the same. Let's talk about eggs. If you want scrambled eggs, you can always have scrambled tofu. We had that at an airport one time and someone commented, this isn't vegan, that's egg. And it wasn't. Rift chest is not like <laughs> But it was vegan because it's scrambled tofu. Yeah. And if you use the black salt, it gives it that eggy taste and smell. It has a very strong eggy smell. It I don't think that's going to put anyone on it. No one likes the smell of eggs. <laughs> so you can use that if you want scrambled eggs or you can use an egg replacer. Now they have Crack, which is a great brand if you want to use. a bit tough to find. And it's expensive, but it's there. Or you can have Oggs, which I think they have more of oh, okay. So you can have that as an egg replacer. Instead of just using eggs, you basically use these and you make omelets. If you're looking for mayo, then you can either make your own mayo or you can have Heinz mayo. Because guess yeah. what? They have that now. And Hellman's mayo. Yeah. And it's better for the environment and it's better for the animals. And it tastes the exact same. Meat. There's a lot of vegan meat products out there now. If you don't know how to make recipes with unprocessed vegan versions of protein, then this might be a lot easier for you to just ease your way in. Vegan chicken. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Vegetarian butcher does great chicken pieces. I love it. Oh, yeah, in I some noodles. Richmond does roast chicken pieces. That's really good. This isn't has chicken pieces that I've had in Buddha pole. No rush bowls? What are they called? Meatless Farm does chicken breasts. Oh, Those that's are really good. She has with her roast dinners. Yeah, and they're really nice. Picture. So vegan chicken everywhere. Vegan chicken know. nuggets are really good. They're a really easy jumping off point. They do really good vegan nuggets in spoons with this like salsa sauce. Banging. Yeah. Especially when you've had a couple of beverages hit the spot. Yeah, fried chicken popcorn. Oh, yeah. Mints. Really we have good. that everywhere. Yeah. Me, the spawn does a good vegan mince, I would say. Vegan sausages, really good. If you're going to try them for the first time, get a Richmond one. There's, this isn't pork sausages. Oh, those are good as well. Have both. Meatballs. And then McCartney does meatballs. You can have the Richmond Just, you won't really go wrong with Richmond in general. Yeah, that's true. Bacon. Vegan bacon is very high in protein, and especially if you get that this isn't one, very low in fat, like insane. This isn't is generally like a good stepping stone. Richmond does streaky rashers. Burgers and hot dogs. Burgers everywhere. Everyone does vegan burgers. Everyone does vegan burgers. Richmond, Meatless Farm, Beyond Burger, Fries do good vegan hot dogs. Moving Mountains yeah. does a great vegan hot dog. Also, we had a hot dog at this vegan festival last year. That was fucking unreal. I don't know what they used. Steaks. Haven't tried. Vivera does a vegan steak. Oh, there's a new one out. Quick spotlight for this Beyond Steak because it was certified by the American Heart Association. How amazing is that for plant-based meat? Generally, there are vegan really steaks, nice but don't trust us because don't. I say don't trust us. Don't trust me because I haven't tried it. Don't don't trust Selena because she air fried a vegan steak. What's wrong with that? You can't air 
air fryer steak. Of course you can. You can't? You can use an air fryer for anything. That's you criminal. Want. No, it isn't. Comment below if you use an air fryer for absolutely anything. You can't air fry you can do that. Of course you can. Oh. Ham and pastrami. Louis loves the brand Squeaky Bean because they do a lot of these kind it's of deli meats. It's got a funny name, Squeaky Bean. <laughs> they have a lot of these deli meats. So they have pastrami, they have salami, they have ham. Corn isn't a vegan brand. Corn is a vegetarian brand. So be careful when you're getting it. You're not getting a vegetarian but product. But these ones are vegan. There's vegan pepperoni, vegan chicken slices for you to have. The thing with like cured meats and stuff is there's so much like flavoring that goes into like pepperoni anyways. And they're all so heavily processed. They're basically the same thing. Yeah. So there's not really any reason to not go for that option. For unprocessed alternatives to meat, protein essentially, you can have tofu. That's a complete protein source. You can have tempeh, which is fermented soya beans. That's also a complete protein source. You can have seitan, which is super high in protein. You can have chickpeas. If you're out and you don't know what to get, but you want to eat plant-based and you want a high protein source, go to chickpeas, and go to like lentils. Weird little can. And you can use the, the water from it. It's called aquafaba and you can use it as an egg replacer. Oh yeah, egg water replacement. Yeah, so if you're out and you don't know what to have, go to a lentil recipe, go to a chickpea recipe, and that's very high in protein. Gelatine, never tried this, but apparently you can use agar agar for gelatine. I've never a had what? a reason. Agar agar. That sounds like an ABBA song. <laughs> I've never had a reason to use it, but it's there. Seafood, I don't like seafood personally, but I do know that you can get vegan salmon. You can get vegan tuna. It's yeah, not great. Yeah. There's not much of that fishy flavor. Maybe you get that from like seaweed. If I want fishy flavor, I know what I eat. Salmon. Salmon. You can get vegan crab sticks. Yeah. I've seen them. You can get vegan calamari. You can get vegan prawn crackers. Let's talk about our favorite snacks. Biscuits. A lot of them are already vegan. Oreos. Biscoff. Bourbons. Most of them. Not all of them. Most, most. of them. Chocolate. <laughs> Such just all of it. Any chocolate, it's all right. <laughs> and Mars bar, Snickers bar, just have it. Such a wide variety of chocolate. Yeah, I'm surprised Mars and Snickers don't have a vegan version yet, but Galaxy do, Lint do. Basically, go to the free from section, and a lot of the chocolate there is already vegan. Yeah. What's that big chocolate bar you have? Vigo. Yeah, Vigo does a good chocolate bar. And you can get vegan chocolate spread if you want to swap out your Nutella. You can have Vigo. That's my favorite because it has crunchy bits in it. Can you believe it? I can believe it. Crunchy bits in it. You can also get Biscoff spread. Oh, Biscoff spread bangs every time, but it'll make you feel like. You've gone about a stone after you've had some. Yeah, but who cares? Yeah, fair. Crisps. Lentil chips. Bang. Yeah. Pringles aren't vegan anymore. I don't know why they did that. Rest there were some vegan flavors like barbecue and original, I and they're not pringles. anymore. If you go to Aldi, a lot of their like Pringle dupes are vegan. So there you go. Walkers, original, vegan. Oh, that's all Ready salted. Ones. Prawn cocktail, vegan. There's some chicken flavored crisps that are vegan because it's just flavoring and no actual. Yeah, it's kind of like noodles, isn't it? Next, sweets. You can have sweets, just have chocolate. That's our motto. That is so true. But also, if you you like sweets then there's a lot of options out there for you. We even found vegan sweets in Norway so go check out our Norway sweet video. Marshmallows. There Some are vegan of them marshmallows are vegan. brands. Yeah. <laughs> that was it for marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows. They're awesome. <laughs> Hot chocolate. There's what's hor horlicks or horlicks. <laughs> What is she licking? <laughs> what is that? Galaxy, they do a vegan hot chocolate and also Hotel Chocolat, who should be sponsoring us. We on principle. 90 pound on one of their eggs. They have a very, very large hot chocolate range that is vegan. Cereal, shreddies, chocolate shreddies. Uh, Not more shreddies, but more so chocolate shreddies. Probably my top three favorite cereals of all time. They are great and they're vegan. If you go to Lidl, you can get a lot of cereal that are vegan. So there's chocolate shells, they're oh, vegan. I like those. Chocolate hoops are vegan. I like those. The cinnamon ones are vegan. I love those, it's like Just crack. Make sure that they say vegan on the box. In Morrison's you can get bran flakes that are vegan. I love bran flakes. And finally, if you're looking for some vegan sweeteners, instead of honey, you can reach for agave, agave. syrup. So you know like roasted parsnips? Yeah. That's what my mum makes them out now, that syrup stuff. Yeah. Makes them crunchier. Or you can just go for maple syrup, golden syrup. There's so many syrups out there. You don't need honey. We hope that this video showed you that there's a lot of easy swaps that you can make if you're not ready to make the full jump. If you want more guidance on how to ease yourself into a vegan lifestyle, then go check out our Easy Habits for a Vegan Lifestyle video. If you like this video, press like. If you want to subscribe, press subscribe. Make sure you press the bell so you get notified whenever we upload a video. We're also on Instagram and TikTok. Go have a good day. Bye, potatoes. Bye. Man, that's so hungry.